Hey, hello, welcome back. In last two videos, we discussed about why to use Prometheus and what are the use cases where we can use Prometheus in our infrastructure and how Prometheus works or how is the architecture of a Prometheus. But in this video, we are going to do some hands on using Spring Boot Activator to expose a matrix. So let's get started. First, you need a Spring Boot project. So how to create a Spring Boot project? So visit start.spring.io. It's a Spring Initializer. Using Spring Initializer, you can create a project. So create a Maven project using a Java version. I will keep it as default 2.3.4. Group ID, I will name it as a com.example.demo and Prometheus Actuator. Okay. And in the description, I will change it like a demo project from for a Prometheus actuator. Okay. And packaging, I will keep it as a jar and Java version 1.8. And once it's everything is filled, click on generate. It'll, it will generate a project. It will, and you can see it's generated and it is downloading a project. Yeah. So here it's downloaded now what you need to do just import this project in your editor okay so go here in the pom.xml you can see spring boot version 2.3.4 and dependencies are added for a jersey and spring starter web okay and you can see here structure is already created for us with the default main class to start the application so everything is correct everything is ready now next endpoint we are here to expose a prometheus endpoint using actuator so let's check first actuator so you can see from here spring boot actuator this is a production ready feature which help you to monitor and manage the application when you push it to production so it has a many http endpoint okay and where you can monitor your application so this is a very good feature in spring boot you can use actuator to monitor your application so what is the need you you need to add this as a dependency in your maven project so i am going to copy this dependency and i will add into our project so let's go to pom.xml here i will add the spring boot starter actuator so you can see it's downloaded now the next thing okay this is done next thing is there are multiple endpoints once you add that dependency you can see it will expose actuator endpoint and where you can see many things so in actuator these are the endpoints supported so how to enable it it will be like very difficult if actuator to enable all the endpoints by default then you will have a lot of endpoints in your application so it's not the case for the spring boot actuator in spring boot actuator if you want to enable any of the endpoint then what you need to do you need to add this management dot endpoint dot id dot enabled to true okay and here you can see there is a one called prometheus which is also exposed like a actuator slash prometheus and what it is doing exposing a matrix in a format that can be scrapped by the Prometheus server and that is our requirement but it requires a dependency on micrometer registry Prometheus so we need to add this dependency in our pom.xml so let's go to our project here in the dependency you need to add one extra dependency I know it is from micrometer and artifact id is this which i copied from their website it's resolving the dependency in the meantime we can check here okay this is added so it means it will enable prometheus endpoints now let's check in our project here i will just create one package resource because i am going to write one java class just a simple hello world which will be rest controller and which will have one gate 
mapping for hello and which will just simply return hello world okay so before starting application let's build or clean let's do a maven clean build of our application so in the terminal you go and type mvn sorry clean install so as you can see build is successful then i am going to run the project run prometheus application I will just maximize this and now you can see started Prometheus application but at the same time you can see expose two endpoints beneath the base path actuator. So you can see actuator is exposed. Now let's go to the browser. So my application is running on localhost 8080 port and you know what there is a one of the endpoint called hello you can see hello world my application is running as application got started you can see it says there's a two endpoint exposed beneath the base path actuator so let's try to run this you can see here there is an actuator and another one is the health and it's saying i am up and running and the third one is the you can see path or info so there's nothing we added so as of now just remember there's nothing called prometheus do you see something like slash prometheus no there's nothing so that means we are missing something so let's go again to the documentation you can see enabling an endpoint so if you need to enable any endpoint you need to do like this management.endpoint.shutdown meaning this is id so you can add it as a we can add a prometheus here so management endpoint.prometheus.enable true there is a this is a one way and another one is this is like exposing a matrix we can use endpoints are exposed using following technology called include or exclude so we can use this management.endpoint.web.exposure.include so let's try to change our project so here let's go to resource application.property add this as we need health to say my application up is up or running or not huh? you don't need it so include as of now just prometheus and that's it it will expose a matrix let's add this one also matrix and health okay this three endpoint we need to expose now let's run the project again running a project And now you can see exposing three endpoint beneath the base pass actuator. Let's go back here and you can see here now actuator is there, health is there and one is Prometheus. So, oops, S is missing. This is the matrix exposed. Now you may ask, hey Piyush, we didn't write somewhere in a code what data should be analyzed and exposed as a matrix then from where this data came from so answer is this is a default matrix but we can expose custom matrix also where we can say which data need to be monitored we are going to see this in coming videos and second maybe you have a question you said matrix is a human readable rich text but we are unable to understand this so don't worry that I am also going to cover in next videos. So keep watching and keep learning. See you in next video.